Hello folks, Bill Vales here. This month we are going to continue our talk about files and file information. Last month we talked about using Windows Explorer to organize and customize your view of files and folders. This month we are going to discuss how you can use Windows Explorer to alter the display of various file and folder metadata so that your view provides you with the attributes you need to see to get your job done. I am going to repeat a few important points from last month's Tech Talk. What is a file? A file is a resource for storing information. You can think of a file like a container that holds something. In this case, the file or container holds information. If you are creating a Word document, the file is the Word document. Creating a spreadsheet, the file is the spreadsheet. Creating a picture, the file is the picture. Or if you're creating an Adobe PDF document, the file is the Adobe PDF document. You can simply extend this explanation to various types of files. We spend a lot of time on our system dealing with files. We create files, we edit files, we move files, copy files, and we email files. The application that is used for locating files, looking at files, moving files, and looking at file information or metadata is Windows Explorer. Now, be sure to not confuse Windows Explorer with Internet Explorer. You can access Windows Explorer from the Start button using Search or through the Accessories folders or from the taskbar. I am accessing Windows Explorer from the taskbar. Note that the Windows Explorer icon is a set of manila folders. I want to emphasize that Windows Explorer has been around since Windows 95. That's 20 years ago. Windows Explorer is a file manager application that is used to navigate and access the file system on your computer. There are a number of features in Windows Explorer that you need to get familiar with. Open Windows Explorer by double-clicking the folder icon on the taskbar. Let's review the various Windows Explorer panes. In the view of Windows Explorer being displayed, there are four window panes, or window tiles as they may be called, being displayed. Pane one are the folders. In the example being displayed, the folder in focus is the Tech Talk folder. Pane two are files. In this example, the files being displayed are those files that are in the Tech Talk folder. Pane 3 are file details. There's no details being displayed in this example since the focus is on a folder. <clears throat> Pane 4 is the library. The library name is Documents Library. Now last month we covered how to customize the panes being displayed by going to the Organize menu. <clears throat> this month we are going to discuss how to customize the attributes being displayed in the file pane. Now, first notice, there is four fields in the file pane. The fields are name, type, date modified, and date created. These are the four fields that I have selected for my display. Next, notice that each file has an icon to the left of it indicating the type of file it is. We see there are two image files, three Word files, note the W. There's one Adobe file, if you see the Adobe uh, icon, a PowerPoint file, denoted by a P, and a spreadsheet, denoted by an X. These icons allow us to visually recognize the type of the file. By knowing the type of the file, we know what application is used to manipulate the file. For example, the application that is used to open or edit the file. In addition to the icon, there is also a type field that describes the file type. We might find this field to be redundant since we have the icon 
next to the file name. Also, we might decide that it would be useful to know the size of each file. For our use, knowing the file size can be helpful for determining how quickly the file may, might load or if we can email it. Perhaps there's some size restrictions on how big a file we can email. <clears throat> In order to customize this display, we need to use the view command. Access the view command on the Windows Explorer menu bar. From the list of view commands, select the Choose Details option. Notice on this menu, you have a list of various attributes you can select from for displaying with your file. Also notice the attributes currently being displayed in Windows Explorer are at the top of the list and they have a check mark in front of them. Let's remove the type field which has a check mark. Then let's scroll through the list of attributes to locate and select the size field. After make, making the changes, select OK. Now let's verify that our changes have been made. Again, access the view command on the File Explorer menu bar. From the list of view commands, select the Choose Details option. Notice on this menu, the list of attributes at the top of the list has changed. We have removed the file type field and we added the size field. Since we are just viewing the changed attributes, we can select Cancel to remove the display of this menu. Now, looking at the file pane, you can see we have customized the view to remove the type field and to add the size field. We have retained the name, date modified, and date created fields. This change display applies to all files in the documents library. <clears throat> it is important to note that all of the file attributes not being displayed, such as file type, continue to be stored with the file. They have not gone away. This allows us to customize the file pane view at some point in the future if we decide it is important to display other attributes with our files. These attributes are called metadata. It is information about the file as opposed to information in the file. We alter the view of the metadata to meet our requirements. There is still a lot more to say about files in Windows Explorer. In upcoming weeks, I am going to continue to build on this information so you can master navigating through your files and folders. For now, experiment with the display of the various window panes, how to organize them, and the file details being displayed. Work on how to interpret the changes you are seeing. You may find it helpful reviewing this Tech Talk with last month's, which is March 2016. You can always access previous Tech Talks by using the LCTV On Demand website. Learning the features of Windows Explorer will support your overall understanding and mastery of your Windows system. That's it for this Tech Talk. Practice, practice, practice. See you next month.